Yep. Not doing it now. What about this? Cun blessings? A new notice board has been placed near the Wine Lace Fest market. Hello, and welcome to Wine Lace Fest. May Lord Barbados bless you. Hey, MC, look. There's a notice here. There's a whole bunch of papers pinned to it. Is it a commission board or something? <laughs> no, they're not commissions. These are clues to find fecund hampers. What's fecund hampers? Fecund hampers. Saying it almost sound like frickin'. Oh, is it a sort of treasure? That's one way to look at it. It seems it's your first time participating in the festival. Would you like me to give you a brief explanation? Well, since my mom's so interested. All right. Simply put, a fecund hamper is a gift prepared by residents for lucky out, uh, outsiders during the festival. We aren't just welcoming the return of Lord Barbados, but we also mean to share the joy of harvest and reminisce about good times. Everyone put a gift in a wooden box shaped like a barrel and hid them in a place that holds memories for them. Next, the owner of the gift will leave, leave clues. The first person, no matter who, to find the box will get the, that gift. Other than gifts, everyone will also leave a message in the box to the person who finds it. This is a sincere blessing, often more valuable than the gift itself. This sounds pretty fun! So, would you two like to try looking for a thick cunt hamper? You should be able to work the clues out easily if you have some knowledge of Monstat customs. Let's try it, MC. You never know. We might even find a gift for some from someone we know. Good luck and have fun. Uh, the Facund Blessings. Follow the clue in Facund Blessings. Follow the clues on the gift notes to find the various scattered uh, Facund hampers. Open them to receive the wish... Uh, well wishes of Monstat's civilianry and their excellently prepared gifts. Uh, let's read a note. Wrong button. Uh, when the music sounds, number one, Happy Wine Lisa Fest. I place the gift near the stage of the wine market. I hope this gift will make the day of the person who finds it. Huh. Open treasure chest. Hey, it's from Barbara. Are you enjoying yourself at Wine, Wine Lace Fest? Every time a festival comes along, the roads and streets are lined with all sorts of decorations, and the conversations people have with one another grow lighthearted. They talk about how they'll be spending the holiday, but what they'll buy, their happiness is truly infectious. This Harvest Festival, I'd like to send you some small flags that I made myself. If they can be used as decorations to liven up your day, that would be great. Barbara. Oh. Freaking furnishings. I've left my honest well wishes beside the spring fairy. Ah. Here. Got it. I once heard the voice of nature here. She did not return even after many decades. Yet the spring water is ever sweet. Youngster, let me share the joy of the harvest with you. I believe that if she could hear us, she would bestow her blessing upon us. All right, next. The gift is near the house of the southernmost tip of Springvale. Here it is. Huh? Never thought the day might come when someone as dispassionate as me would be asked to prepare a fecund hamper. Still, I've yet to shake the rust off my brain, so I simply have no clue where to hide it or what to write in the note. Uh, happy Wine Lisa Fest, I guess. Jotun. Next, I place my gift behind the shop in Mondstadt City. The cats here are quite cute, and the cocktail made by the angry bartender is pretty good. Not a match for our Sneznayan uh, fire water, but still. I guess the angry bart. Wait. <sighs> because of the cats, I would think it would be at the cat's tail, but angry bartender makes me think of the Luke. I'm going to try the cat's tail first, because maybe Diona is angry because it is Diona. Because she doesn't like alcohol. So she serves it, but she doesn't like doing it. Honestly, I can't help but miss my mighty homeland Shneznaya every time such festive events roll around. But I'm afraid I can only take time off at night to drown my sorrows in wine. To be honest, I'd recommend trying the drinks they sell here. But if you were able to find the gift, I reckon you're, you've already are a regular here, eh? No. Uh, five, thank Lord Barbados for granting Mondstadt this lively harvest. 
I place my gift at his feet. Right away. There's his feet, and there's the gift. Uh, to whomever finds this gift, how do you do? I thank Lord Barbados for allowing my gift and note to come into your hands. May his blessing be upon you. If you ever have any troubles, then stand here and pray. Lord Barbados will surely help you find an answer. Grace. Is she the one with the daughter? The gift has been placed at the rear gate of the angel's share. Okay. Oh, it's Grace. That answered itself quickly. Here we go. Whether you're a regular here or whether you are a friend from afar. Well, since you found this gift, why not come in for a mug? I hope that you'll enjoy Vine and Laser Fest. And I hope that Dawn Winery's wines will be able to add some extra color in your life. Charles, the bartender. Next, Mondstadt has a place with a truly excellent view. Have you been there? I'll give you a hint. It's very, very, very high up. Take care when you head there. Huh. I feel like this would be someone that we know. Well, this is definitely it. Apparently, it's atop the cathedral. I didn't know we can go up there. Like, really? What are we grabbing onto right here? There it is. It's probably Barbados to put this up here. Provencia, I mean. No, it was Amber. Congratulations! This probably wasn't that easy to find this place. So you must be someone with some real spirit. Well then, have a look around. Isn't the view great here? Huh? I'm glad that I was able to share that view with you. Well, just remember to follow the gliding instruction manual as you make your way down using this wing glider, using your wing glider. Otherwise, you might get your license revoked. Outrider Amber, who we have not seen for this whole entire mission chain. All right, last one I'm doing for this part. I have placed the gift at training grounds near the Knights of Pavonius headquarters. When you go there and get it, please try to be quiet as to avoid disturbing those training there. Thank you for your consideration. Why do I feel like this one is Jean? Here we go. Oh no, it's Noelle. The training grounds have a very special place in my heart. Jean's sword fighting is so much better than this. Cool. I've trained there many times to become a true knight and better myself. And I'll work hard in the future too. If you need steaks uh, paired or firewood chopped, leave it all to me. If you run into any trouble at all, you can call me and I'll be there. Noel, nice Favonius maid. And we finished the first part. Details and blessings. We're not doing the next one now. Bernard has heard that you're participating in the event. Why is this the next part of it? And we're back at our little shop. Hello, traveler. Hi, Mon. I heard that you've been participating in the, uh, the Kun Hamper event. Was it fun? It's been pretty fun. Paimon isn't sure if it's because th there was the market during uh, Vine and Lisa Fest, but we got all sorts of decorations. <laughs> there are indeed people who would prepare those as gifts. Right. Since we're running a snack shop, do you want to put some of those decorations here? Sure, because I don't have any use for them. Bringing the shop up could help us attract more customers. Besides, I'm sure the gift givers would be happy to see their sincere gifts being used in your shop. Good point. Come on, MC. Let's decorate our shop. The gifts from the Fakun Hamper include special decorations known for shop components that can be used to decorate the storefront you have in uh, charity and creativity. The decorations are split into shop frames, shop ornaments, sh one, shop ornaments, two, landscape accessories, and storefront furnishings. You can also add components once you have uh, placed your shop frame. Okay. During the shop color, uh, during shop colors, collect a certain number of shop components and set them up at your shop to obtain corresponding rewards. Shop components components can be used in your Serena teapot to continue setting up your shop. Uh, customize shop. Okay. Uh, storefronts. Boom. Save. Landscape accessories. Boom. Save. Shop ornaments. Boom. Save. Shop ornaments too. Boom. Save. Booyah! 
Job's all good now. Okay, anything else I do is just going to be intercut if there's any good moments. So, yeah. I've been doing this for like two hours already. Oh, will you adorn your shop once? Cool. Yeah, I just need to do it nine times and then collect all. Ah, oh, there's a lot to do. You're here, traveler. Here's some good news. Because people have found concrete evidence of the survival of snowboards, I just received a letter from my mentor saying that my thesis has been approved. Wow! That sounds like everything's going smoothly for you, eh? Congrats! It's a good start, but the research that follows will take a long time. So I have to be prepared to stay in Mondstadt for a while. Next, I have to figure out how the snowboards managed to leave the snowy mountains and ended up in the forest. Based on the tracks that I have found, I'm guessing that they descended the mountain from the western face, past Dawn Winery, and then made their way to Springvale. If this hypothesis is correct, we should be able to find traces of them in the area. So our goal today is to investigate this. Paimon gets it. Uh, also, who is this guy beside you? He looks all dressed up for a hunt. Hello, my name is Walter. Recently, I've taken up the responsibility of overseeing security near Dawn Winery. Edmund told me that you guys are looking for snowboards. You could, could you come with me today? I happen to need some extra hands to help out. Uh, some forest boars broke into the nearby farms last night, scaring off all their pigeons and ducks. They still haven't found any of them. Traveler, when we were hunting later, when we are hunting later, please capture these small animals when you find them and bring them back with you. Of course, it's my pleasure. I heard that you know how to hunt using tools. I've got some around here too, so help yourself. We can set off once you're ready. All right, let's go. I've actually never hunted using tools. So whoever told you that was lying. During the Autumn Crisis capture, you may, you must use sneak and hunting nets to capture a certain number of animals. The animals that can be captured within this area are scarlet beak ducks, white pigeons, crimson foxes, and forest boars. Animals in the challenge have an alertness value that, once full, will cause them to enter an alerted state, causing them difficulty, causing the difficulty of capturing them to increase. Sneak in special bush, bushes around the area to not cause their alertness to increase. Lures may be present in the area that can be interacted with up close or activated using a hunting net to attract the attention of nearby animals. At the same time, dry branches and leaves that will make louder noises when stepped on will be present in the areas. They can startle anima animals, increasing their alertness. Uh. <sighs> that one. So that's how you do it. Got whatever that was. I'm not having fun right now. Some ducks. Got it. Twofer. Just gonna catch one more animal. Cool. I hated that. Capture fifteen animals without a single in a single challenge. Capture four types of animals in a single challenge. Capture ten animals that have not entered an alert state in a single challenge. Cool. Now we just have one more joint left, don't we? Farabi has sent a message asking you to meet him at the Dragon Spine. At Dragon Spine. The target for today seems to be the legendary king of the. Oh gosh. I remember that thing. You're here, traveler. Whew, that's a relief. Whoa! It's Edmund and Farabi. Why did you suddenly come to Dragon Spine? Paimon was pretty surprised that you'd asked to meet here. 
This is quite sudden, but since an unexpected research target has appeared, I just can't let go with this opportunity. Unexpected research target? Yes, Mr. Evans says he's seen a huge animal, he's seen huge animal footprints at the foot of the snowy mountain. But we finally found similar prints around this area. I can thus confirm that a huge snowboard does indeed live here. If we can get samples of its hair and blood, they would be a huge help in figuring out snowboards' living conditions and why they appear at the foot of the mountain. So our objective today is to hunt down that huge snowboard? No, it's not a hunt. In the legends we hunters tell, the huge snowboard is the true master of Dragonspine, and it is not something you can just hunt. Oh, I know. I suppose it'd be all right if we trap it for a short while for research purposes, right? You gotta help me out on this, Farabi. Hmm. Don't you worry. Honestly, after learning the, that Mondstadt is always plagued with forest boars during hunting season, harvesting season, I've been thinking a lot. If all goes well, I'll continue my research on forest boars and maybe even find a solution to the problem. After all, one of the most important purposes of studying creatures is to find a way to live in harmony with them. <laughs> Looks like you've learned a lot from your wine lace vacation. Yeah, I had great wine, made friends, and found a goal to work towards. But let's hold on to the sentimental stuff for after we get down from this mountain. Traveler, judging by the size of those prints, I'd strongly doubt I'll be a match for that snowboard. So I'm gonna have to leave it to an expert like you, if that's all right. But please rest assured that I've set up the bait and some traps. Those, sh those should be of help. Okay, leave it to me. Traveler, if you're ready, I'm going to ignite the bait and lure the snowboard out. Giant snowboard, here I come. Ah, uh, shoot. During Autumn Crisis Uproot, you must defeat the great snowboard king and temporarily restrain it. When the snowboard king first enters the battle, it will be an enraged state, upon whereupon you must use the various devices within the area, such as hunter shields and traps, to get the snowboar out of its enraged state. The amount of damage that can be done to the great snowboar using normal attacks is quite limited. When a great snowboar king leaves its enraged state, the hunting net can deal more damage to it. Ow. I don't know what I'm doing. Huh. Trap setup complete. What is the trap? Oh, it's enraged again. Please come over here, Mr. Snowboard King. Come on. Hit it again. Oh, and we out. I'm trying to activate the smoke machine. Oh. Come on, closer. There you go. And boom. And with oh, come on. Done. That wasn't fun. Apparently, I'm done with it all, though. Ooh. Get some more goodies. Not too much more goodies to get. Let's see. Successfully captured the great snowboard king. Did it. I successfully captured the Great Snowboard King with 30 seconds or more remaining. Did it. Use Hunter's Shield and Traps to knock out the Great Snowboard King three times. Did it. Cool. All right, so we're on the Highwind Trial, and now we have to do the Ambush Test. So that's going to be the whole going from place to place battling things again. All right. Do this again. Collect these. All right. 
Where to next? Pizza way. Two. Why are these mugs getting healed up? What is the water healing them? Best case, you need to go now. Oh, great, one of these things. Can you come down here where I can hit you? Please. He's definitely annoying when you don't have an archer. Come on. Down here. What are you waiting for? So this is why I think you should be able to swing your sword in the air. Fate is upon you. Where'd you go, you coward? Get down here. Freaking finally. Oh, trash. Oh my gosh, can I use the wind? Man, why is everything a bad camera angle? Boom. I get only lamp grass out of fighting that. Oh, wait, here we go. All right, now I think I gotta climb all the way back up here just to get to the next point. Yeah, I don't even get to see where I'm going. Gee, I wonder where we're fighting at. Finally. Then there were you two. Where's that other one at? No escape. There you are. Thanks for showing your face. I was looking for you. Should we really be fighting under a tent? This doesn't seem like the best idea. It just feels like I'm destroying property. Oh, we won. Yeah, and there goes the next one. I think this is the last one we got to do for this part. Any more we couldn't, uh, we can stay after being hit by plunge attack three times. So one down. And then there was just you. That's not doing anything to me. David and Goliath. How do you get that one? I'm just going to keep going with this. It's working. Somehow. How was that the easiest fight yet? It was, but how? Ambush test. Done with everything in here. Now we just got to do the endurance test and we're done. Ah, oh, freaking, we got to go back to Dragon Spine? Store elemental energy. Okay. This our elemental energy is going up so much. I figure why not. Um, two more hits. Oh, just one more hit. Hey, hey, let me get these things first. Then we'll continue on. Let's see, where am I going? All right, next. I'm gonna freeze before I get to the next spot. Hmm. Oh, what was that achievement that we just got? Did my hand fall from my wrist? Defeat the Thunderhelm Lao Churl while in an enhanced state. Oh, while well, it's in an enhanced state. Got it. Cool. That wasn't too bad, it was just tedious. Rise. 
Why did you come here? No one asked for you to. Forest Arm Law Churl just came out here on his own. So just like, I want to fight. No one wanted you to. Well, man, I might as well take him down now. Defeated it. A little more. Oh, great, another one. Oh my gosh. Powerful enemies will summon assistance. Wasn't too hard. Last battle was the easiest. Ooh, Festival Fever got more. What happens when you get everything? Nothing other than what it just says right on screen right there. Turn test. Gimme. 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 That's it for that. All we got left is the stall and finding everybody's things. Oh, let's go manage our shaft. Oh, I got enough vessel fever. Yay. Now what? Use this amount as usable for this cycle. Cool. And for business, I guess. I'm probably just going to skip all this. Emergency, the soggy goods. Oh. They have an emergency with some soggy goods. This won't do. There won't be an end to this. What's wrong, Mats? What's up with the store? It's an old problem. I have some daily necessities that have been shipped to my store, and they've been caught in the middle of the wind, waves, and tide. I was hoping to dry them while we were open, in hopes that they would be ready to sell for cheap at the end of the festival. But the sunshine in Mondstadt is too gentle. And we are here beside Cider Lake, there, where the air is humid. So far, nothing has gone as planned. If it goes on like this, our daily necessities will get moldy. Hmm, this is a bit tricky. Maybe we can make a fire and dry the shipment. But that would be too dangerous. Bernhard and Leah would stop it. Uh, we could try using flaming flower stamens. How about using anemograna? You mean by blowing the goods dry with a strong wind from the anemograna? Anemograna? Hmm. Well, it won't be strong enough for sure, but it won't blow the goods away. But won't it blow the goods away? Perhaps we could tie the boxes together and increase their total weight that way. Huh. That's not a bad idea. I'll someone to find anemograna right now, and I'll send all the supplies over. Thank you both very much. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Cool, we got more stratagems. Confirm. And they need a holistic service boost. Confirm. Over here, they need a boost in business efficiency. Unexpected situation, bizarre clientele. The general goods business shop efficiency and flower shops holistic services targets will be more stringent for one customer cycle. Why both? Holy crap, that gap. Emergency floral composition. Hold on, I think we got the last thing that we need to do with all this. Still gonna go to the end though. Oh, especially because we got more we can earn. Emergency. 
Arranging flowers really is a science unto itself. Are you running into any problems, Pauline? It's not really a big deal. Usually, I always sell flowers by variety because I think they would be clear to customers at a glance. But recently, I heard that combining several kinds of flowers can make them complement each other and look more beautiful. I try to match the different flowers, and although I don't quite understand how it works, the business of the shop during the festival is significantly more busy. So I was wondering, how do you cultivate this particular kind of artistic sense? Do you have to find a professional mentor? Hmm. What Pauline said is definitely something worth thinking about. What do you think, MC? Uh, go with something that matches your inspiration. Go look at, for some reference books first. Well, that theory is the safest way to get started. The Knights of Favonius Library has a large collection of books. You should be able to find something there, right? Leo Wei and Inazuma also have knowledge on arranging flowers. If you get the chance, you sh can also try to get some books written there for reference. I understand. I'll ask someone to help me get some books from the library once Wine Lace Vine Lace Fest is over ends. As for reference books from Leo Wei and Inazuma, I should be able to ask Mats. He travels a lot. <laughs> Maybe the next time we meet, he'll become a master at arranging flowers. I'll do my best. Your suggestions are really valuable. Thank you very much. Here's a token of my gratitude. Please take it. Cool. New stratagem. I think she needs it most on product quality. Unexpected situation. Customer surge. The snack shop product quality. General shops. Business efficiency. And flower shops holistic service targets will be more stringent. Why all at once? Emergency surplus merchandise. Uh, we reached another earnings goal. Emergency. Honorary night. I'm on. There's one more thing for you to decide. All right, all right. We'll help. What do you need? The peak time of Weinleisfest will soon be over. Some shopkeepers estimate that they will have some surplus in stock and plan to donate to us. Isn't that a good thing? Surplus stock sounds like a bad thing. Sounds like a bad thing, but they seem to mean well. We might not be able to sell it all. The Honorary Knight has a good point. Our ability to sell is also limited. After these goods are donated to us, we might not be able to sell them, and they might accumulate. Some of the daily necessities and food would go would soon go bad, which would be a waste of good intentions. Hmm. Paimon didn't think about that. MC always seems to know best. Uh, perhaps it could be politely declined. No. Could it be resold to the Knights of Avonius? This is indeed a method, and sometimes the Knights will spontaneously count their personal needs. If residents have used goods that they are willing to sell, and the knights do not mind, they can make a deal directly to reduce the waste of materials. In the same way, the inhabitants could speak directly to the knights if they need something. Maybe someone recently wanted to buy something, but didn't realize that the owner had a lot of stuff they couldn't sell. All right, well, it's up to you to bridge the gap then, Bernhard. Bernhard leaves for the order to look at the purchases needed. On every night, I'm on. Good news. Just so happens that a lot of people want to buy used goods these days, and they can resell most of the surplus goods to them. Some of the knights also chipped in to pay for our hard work. Okay, the thrift crisis is solved, and everyone needs and everyone's needs are met. I've seen a new shop stratagem. What is it? Well, uh, can't use it. I already can't use it. I already have more than enough. All right, we have a lot of money that we could still use. So let's go ahead and just boost everything little by little. The flower shop is doing the best out of everything. All charity sale targets achieved. Claim rewards. Nice. Yay, I don't think I'm going to have to read. Yeah. Hey, we haven't seen either of them yet. Ah, uh, 
found you. You're looking for us? Wait! You came here looking for us? Of course! Do you have any idea how popular your charity stall is? Everyone's been talking about it. Favonian Ooh. Goodies and Buddies, run by the honorary knight and their sidekick, is selling all kinds of fantastic treasures. <laughs> and their sidekick, my mom's going like that. Wonderful others for free. Don't miss out. Uh, so after all that, Paimon's back to being the sidekick? Pretty much. Mm. Still, Paimon's really happy to hear that people are giving good reviews. It's all thanks to our customers. We owe them everything. Oh, hey, everything to them. What have you two been up to these days? Did you go off on a trip or something? We haven't seen you around the whole festival. <laughs> That's because we're still working. Huh? You still have to work? Yeah, but the nights. Uh, you didn't get any time off during the festival? Technically, Amber and I are on a vacation schedule. There are more mean? merchant caravans than usual traveling the route between Dormanport and Mondstadt City during the festival. Extra traffic means extra security is required. Because of monsters and bandits and stuff? Oh yes. my. The reconnaissance company is tasked with patrolling this route during the festive period. As well as traveling with the caravans to ensure essential goods are delivered without incident. We have to investigate suspicious locations to eliminate any emerging threats. <sighs> that seems like a lot of work. Sounds like you'll be working non-stop around the clock right up until the end of the Vine Lisa Fest. Of course not. We take shifts. While one team is on duty, another is resting. And a third team is on standby in case of emergencies. She said duty. These three teams rotate periodically. Yula is such an experienced captain. She arranged everything this way so that the reconnaissance company can meet the intense demand during the festival, while still giving everyone a chance to take some time off. Gotta say, great organizing, Yula. Yes, all right, Amber. I did my job like I always do. I really don't see what the fuss is all about. Uh, quite the glowing view, Outrider. Captain Yula, you are an inspiration to us all. Enough, Let's go with that one. both of you. The festive spirit is turning you into giddy little children. Is there a problem with that? <clears throat> anyway, we didn't come here just to chit chat. I'll let Eula do the honors. Okay. I need 40 portions of Night Special Northern Smoked Chicken and 40 of Favonia's favorite pylum up. That's such a huge order! What's the occasion? Wait, are the Knights of Favonia's having an official feast? How come nobody told us about it? Well, I feel like it's for us. <laughs> Nothing quite as glamorous as all that. Captain Eula wants some supplies to reward her team members with. Correct. Scouts use up an enormous amount of energy in a single day. Each meal, they eat enough to feed... Mm, four to five normal people. Plus, a long-standing member has recently returned to our ranks after a long absence. I thought it would be fitting to celebrate the occasion. Of all the things I could have bought, I thought it would be best to have that, the money uh, go Mika? to you. That way, I can support a charitable cause while I'm at it. Paimon agrees. You made the right decision, Yula. It's what we business owners call a win-win situation. Thank you for your generous contribution. Also, about this long-standing member you mentioned, is it that guy we met recently? Mika, the frontline land surveyor. He was a vital member of our team before the Grandmaster borrowed him for the expedition. Mika! Yeah, that's the one! Paimon never would have thought that shy little guy was such a strong knight! He seemed scared of us. He was barely said two words before running away. Mika's not afraid of you guys. That was his way of showing respect to you. Although, admittedly, it is kind of a roundabout way of doing it. That's showing respect. He thinks all mighty people have unique personalities and prefers to understand what makes them tick and the way they think before properly interacting with them. He says it makes it easier to communicate that way. He was the same way toward me and Amber at first. As we gradually got to know each other, he started acting more naturally. I don't think he ever really talks to us, though. Interesting. Sounds like Mika's the one with the unique personality. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Mm -hmm. It'll just take a little time, that's all. You are a high-profile figure within the Knights of Favonius. As his commanding officer, 
I have a duty to make sure no misunderstandings arise between you. She said duty again. Uh, it's all right, Yua. We get it. You're just looking after him. Wait, Yula, did you just pay for my portion too? I was supposed to pay for mine separately. I'm not an official member of the reconnaissance company. <sighs> if you want to get official about it, then fine. It's officially my treat. Ooh. There, now stop worrying. She got you with that one. You hand Yula and Amber the meals they purchased. They thank you and leave. Ooh, thanks to Yula and Amber, we made a whole day's worth of more in one fell swoop. Yay. Honorary night, Paimon. I have the most wonderful news. Do tell, do tell. Thanks to your sterling efforts, the funds we've raised in this charity sale have blown our original predictions right out of the water. It's a phenomenal success. Yes! Paimon told you so. We're good at this stuff. You did great as well, Bernhard. Ah, but you two deserve all the credit. It's your expert management that made this event what it was. I've handed over all the revenue to the person responsible for managing our charitable funds. Ubidado. And with that, the event finally comes to a close. As a gesture of our appreciation, we'd like to give you both a fee for all your hard work. You've more than earned it. That's okay, I've gotten a lot of rewards out of all After this. After this, I feel like I could even run a shop of my own in the future. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the chance to work together one day. It feels like we accomplished a lot together. If the chance ever comes up, let's do it again! Um, as long as there's rewards. Ah, uh, the one that I didn't get yet. Alright, we got all the rewards from that. Now the only thing left to do is the blessings. Color shop. Oh. Just collect components for the shop. Alright, let's follow more clues. Come, you who enjoy adventure. A gift prepared specifically by yours truly is waiting for you near the, a certain shop that sells souvenirs. Uh... You mean the shop that doesn't take money? When they say souvenirs, I f think about this one. Oh, I was right. Hey, puppy. There we go. <laughs> so you know my daughter well, do you? Well then, make sure you prioritize her shop more often. Majory always loved to hear my tales of adventure. And now that she's all grown up, she's carrying the legacy of an adventurer's passion and valor in her own unique way. That's truly a wonderful thing. And she will always be my pride and joy. Don't let her hear that. It uh, might be awkward. <laughs> if you wish to join the Adventurer's Guild, just contact me, Branch Manager Cyrus, or Branch Master Cyrus. How do you do, friend? I place my gift near a venerable... Venerable Venerable Hotel in Mondstadt City that is now being occupied by a group of guests from afar. Guests that we don't really like dealing with because they're so rude, right? Right. Heard the thing. Other side. And boom. The House of Goth has always served the people of Mondstadt with distinction. And this hotel plays host to many memories. The years of my youth have passed and will not return, but at least my family and friends are still with me. Dear friend, I wish you a lovely Vinlesa Fest. Don't forget to spend more time with those close to you. Serving you always, Goth. All right, next. The giant leaves turn with the wind. The gift is close to the Knights of Avonius headquarters. They mean the windmill? That's by the headquarters. Are you interested in going on an adventure? Shut up. Oh, it's up top here. Nice. The blades of the windmill mindlessly go round and round. Go round and round. They're just like that childhood friend of mine. No matter how many hints I give him, he never seems to get it. But I don't want to just say it to him either. Stranger, I wish you a happy Vine Lace Fest. And if you would, wish the two of us luck. How do you do? I placed the gift beside Cider Lake, where I usually feed the ducks. Don't startle them while you're getting it. Oh, wait, I think this is that kid. Hi, Timmy. I see the joint. Why is it got a rain on Van Lesa Fest? 
The ducks and I are good friends. They look very cute when they're swimming. My mother once told me that although their movement may seem slow, their legs actually paddle very quickly in the water. Amazing, right? Why don't you try to feed them? I'm sure you'll make good friends with them too. Timmy. <sighs> Poor Timmy. People travail endlessly on the south wind's road, but gifts go unnoticed at the lakeside gate. Got your gift, Timmy. Got anything to say? What are you doing? You're scaring the pigeon. Don't be back. Stop guilt tripping me, kid. The pigeons weren't even here. Why are you blaming me? Oh, oh. Ah, it's in the inside. And got it. Ah, what a bore. It's Vine Lace Fest. I still need to stay at my post. You know, at this side gate that no one will ever come to? That's a question. Ah, kind-hearted soul whom I have never met. Please come and chat with me, if only because of this gift. Tell me what everyone is tell me what everyone is having fun with. Please, I need some festive cheer too. Guy, the nigh forgotten knight. Poor guy. Go forth. In the Magnus Custodian of Book Sanctum, the High Lady of the of Imaratnachrite has beseeched upon the bene, a benediction. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Library. Hi, guy. Uh, Vinely's Fest. My father must be busy. What am I doing here? Might as well be at home helping. Well, I tried. Is there a bookstore around here? Or a library that's not at the headquarters. What is this going to do behind the headquarters of the Knights of Avonius? Would there be one actually in the library in the Knights of Avonius? Oh, -ho. it was in the library. Ye who are blessed by dictum divine and who bear in your breasts earnest hearts that yearn for endless knowledge. Browse through this treasure trove of endless wisdom here in these halls that link your realm to the Immanachrite. Right. Yeah. Lies a paradise in which your possessing finds repose. Now, now, thou needst not rush to seek an audience. When you have witnessed the rise and fall of countless words and deciphered the truth behind all enigmas, the latter to the highest of royal <sighs> courts shall appear before you. <sighs> Thanks, Fischl. So, there's this battered, old battered cart at the place where I usually go fish blasting, right? I hid my present behind it. If you find it, it's all yours. Uh, by the way, I didn't blow that cart up. All right? Really. Razor can, v um, vouch for me. Oh, this is please. Please be quiet within the premises and refrain from making a racket. Shut up, Riot! I think I said that right. It's like Wyatt, but with an R. Wyatt? Wyatt? I don't know. I think Riot works better. I looked it up. Starfell Lake is over here. Why do I keep getting quests? I see that. I don't even know where this quest would... I would do it at. And... Wow! Hee <laughs> So you found Klee's present. Awesome. Does that mean Klee's made a new friend? Psst. Next time I can slip out. Let's go blast fishing together. It'll be fun. I promise. Uh... No. There's a small shell in the whispering woods near Cider Lake where a small pier lies. I placed my present in that area. The road there is somewhat bumpy, so careful not to fall. Whispering Woods and Cider Lake. So we're probably about as close as we're going to be to it. I think I know exactly what they're talking about, though. Huh. Found it! Why'd you have to be in the way? And now all your little friends know. Wind blade. 
All right, now I can open it. Thanks for solving the gift that I left here, or finding the gift I left here. Solving puzzles, avoiding traps, completing challenges, collecting precious rewards. Those are my favorite things. It's quite rare that I get this chance, so I hid my treasure somewhere in the wild before designing a little quest around it. I hope it didn't bring you too much trouble. This treasure is yours. Good luck in your future endeavors. Bennett, adventurer. And that part's done. Now there's only eight more left to do. Collect nine. We got to get the rest. And the blessings. The after party. Stand at the door to the greatest hunter in of the greatest hunter in Springvale and head to the south. I've hidden my gift on a cliff. If you find it, it's all yours. There's some really good stuff in there. Where does the greatest hunter in Springvale live? That easy, huh? Well, now, I imagine this one wasn't too difficult. Don't worry. I'm not pulling a fast one on you. I just wanted to spend more time on drinking on drinking festival exclusive wine. And you don't have to run all over the place looking for the present. So it's a win-win for both of us. Of course, if you would like to savor some drinks or have a chat, I'd buy you a glass anytime. Thanks, Kaya. My gift is on the cliff face at the waterfall on the outskirts of Springv uh, Springvale. Only the bravest shall... Of all shall obtain it. Pretty sure this is it. Oh, I gotta climb up. This is what they meant by the bravest, huh? Who cares about bravery? Is it Stanley? I have this feeling it's Stanley. Nope, it's just some little kid. Hello there. You who are the bravest and most skillful person in the world. Call me Pepe. Mr. Draft placed this uh, thick hun hamper here for me. I'm not tall enough to cl uh, climb cliff cliffs this high right now, but I'll train every day. I want to become an awesome adventurer as soon as I can. Once that happens, I'll be able to place these gifts myself. Just follow your nose. The gift is beside the one spot in Springvale from which the aroma of meat never drifts up. Wait. I think I still know. I was saying there, I thought I said Mondstadt and... I knew where to go with it's in Mondstadt. I seem to remember us having a cooking competition around here before. Up there. Oh, Diona left this one. Humph. And here I was looking to come and retrieve my gift. But you know what? I guess you're pretty good after all. Well, this wind chime is yours to keep. But remember, don't drink too much wine, not even if it's Vine Lace the Fest. If not, the wind chime will ring, and I'll hear it. Don't you underestimate the hearing we cats line have. <sighs> and when I do, you'll be in trouble. <clears throat> Seriously, though, when you have just... When will they just rename it to the Harvest Festival or the Fruit Fest or something like that? Wait. Which one am I... Oh, this was the first one. I guess I skipped it. So wait, where's the... Place with the smell of meat in Springvale. Now I'm confused. See, I don't even know what Kai's message said anymore now that I know that I picked his up accidentally early. <laughs> I was so close! Come on, it's a festival. Just having fruits and wine isn't gonna cut it. And that's why, apart from the usual little tokens, I've also left you some steak I made myself. I don't mean to brag, but I use the freshest meats and the greatest care in making these. It would be no exaggeration to call them the most, call them the best delicacies in Mondstadt. I even matched them with the best wine at the festival. You'll know it once you try some. Happy Vine Lace Fest. All right, next. I left a present at the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Monstat's hero? Who the heck is Monstat's hero? Do you mean the freaking big tree? It's on the other side of the tree. I know by heart that neither the peace nor the harvest are easy to come by. Only by steadily moving forward can we remember those who went before us. Unknown friend, I ask you, should you be willing to raise a glass to the winds, to toast Monstat, and to toast its resistance in the past and its freedom today. Jean. 
The present is near Windrise, inside a red adventurer's tent. Yeah, I see it. In the past, I would often go camping with my friend, and we would watch the stars and talk about our dreams. When I look up, look at the wine in my cup, I cannot help but think back to those wonderful times. I know. I will try looking into the future. Ah, Stanley. How I miss you. Yeah, it's the Stanley guy again. The gift is near the main entrance to the Dawn Winery. Feel free to come and visit. Like the winery itself or the building at the winery? Ooh. Found this too. Radiant Spin Crystal 3. As a winemaker at Dawn Winery, getting to watch the fine wines that I made myself get loaded into carts and shipped to places across to that makes me proud of all, proudest of all. If you're willing, do come to the stall run by the Angel Share at the wine market to try our festival exclusive non-alcoholic drinks. Connor, veteran winemaker, Dawn Winery. And the last one, the very last one, I placed my festive flower basket at the house due south of Dawn Winery. I hope that you'll be able to share this joy with me. South, 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 south. Here it is. Oh, this is the place with all the carrots that I always used to steal. Well, I can change that now. Thanks be to Lord Barbados. Not only has the great vines been laid in by his protection, but my son, Guy, is also putting in his best for Vine Lace Fest. As a value member of the Knights Favonius, yeah, I went to talk to Guy. He said, come talk to me so things would be more interesting. Then all he did was complain and never listen to anything I said. Now, though we are both very busy people, I believe that our feelings cross the distance between us, connecting the both of us together. Tunner. And that's it. We finished it all. And details, shop colors, and boom, give me that. And now on the next episode, I can go ahead and do a 10 roll. Although I'm not sure I really want to because the only people that are available now as five stars that they're advertising, both sword users. I already got two in my party. I don't need more. Yeah, I have everybody else too. I might just wait until this changes or yeah, I'll just do this next episode. I'll probably get disappointed, but it's worth a shot, right? This is taking a while to build up to again. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. You wrote just get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, million man marching Sparta mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I probably wouldn't mention me either.